it dangerous to lay in bed with white sheets and coffee? <laughs> Hey Bessie, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Henry Pernod. I hope you are doing good because I'm doing good and I'm very very much excited about today's video. What I'm going to show you is so cool. I did some changes to my hair actually. Um, I bleached them and I turned my whole back hat blonde, like even more blonde than I am, naturally am, but I really like it. Um, I thought like going crazy somewhere on my head. <sighs> so I went crazy on the back head, I guess. So about today's video, I'm very, very excited to tell that we are going to do another bag. Yeah, like in the last couple of weeks, I've been crocheting a cool new bag with a pattern that I made up actually. And as you might recognize this bag, it's the check it bag that I did in my last video. We are going to do another bag, which is the same pattern actually, but just a different style. We're going to do the wavy acid bag. I've been seeing this on YouTube all over and on Pinterest as well, but all the patterns were like this wavy straight line, like this straight pattern with all the waves next to each other. I wanted to turn it around and do it go a little bit crazy. So I decided to design my own pattern actually with a crazy acid wavy bag. It gives me very much Y2K vibes and I really like the color theme. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to do this bag. So let's jump right into the DIY I guess. So regarding the materials this bag is super easy. You only need a six millimeter hook and a two colors of yarn. I'm choosing green and almond, I think it's color. I'm ordering my yarn from hookedyarns.com and they are very cheap and fast shipping. And I'm using the Echo Barbante yarn or Echo Barband yarn. I didn't figure out how to pronounce this name actually, but I'm using the 200 gram yarn. Um, of each color. What else you're going to need is of course wool needles um, to, to weave in the ends at the end and that's actually it. And of course my pattern uh, which I'm going to provide you in the link in the description and on my Pinterest so you better check that out. You really need this pattern to follow this tutorial actually. You, I can fully recommend to print it out and lay these each pieces next to each other to understand how this bag is like built up. First of all, we are going to chain up 41 and we are going to do a simple slip knot at the beginning. Then we put in our hook and chain up 41. So the 41 chain ups are actually defining your width of the bag and how wide you want to have your bottom of the bag. As for the guidelines, we are going to first start with the bottom of the bag and afterwards we are going to crochet around the bottom, up the body and um, creating our body of the bag. And at the end we are going to attach the strap of the bag and it's finished. So as we chain up 41, we are going to build a double crochet pattern actually. This whole bag is built by double crochets. And to read the pattern actually, it is each cell represents one double crochet. We are going to double crochet in the second loop, building our first double crochet. For this, we are going to yarn over, we double crochet into the first, uh, into the second loop. Make sure you have both loops, both strings on top of your hook. Then we yarn over, pull the yarn through, we have three loops on our hook, we yarn over, pull the yarn through the first two loop, loops, we yarn over and pull the yarn through the last two loops, making up or finishing up our first double crochet. We are going to repeat this double crochet process with that one color we've started, which is in my case actually the white. We are going to repeat the double crochet process as soon as the pattern tells us to change the color. So in this case, we are going to do 
10 double crochets as soon as we hit the 10, 10th double crochet we are going to change up the color in order to change up the color we are stopping the double crochet just before we finish we are about to finish the double crochet we stop at this point where we have two loops remain two remaining loops on our hook in order to not close it with this color we are going to close this with the new color and this is how you introduce the second color in your crocheting pattern actually so we are going to finish up by looping the new thread or the new color into the last double crochet part and finish up our double crochet. Then you can actually tie a little knot with the ends, with the end of the white and the end of the, yeah, with the excess yarn, you can tie a little knot in order to secure your first stitch. As so as soon as you introduce the new color, we are going to keep continue crocheting or double crocheting with the new color, making sure to take the old color, which is in my case, the white yarn axis or the axis yarn of the white yarn with us throughout the double crocheting process with the new color yarn in order to introduce it later again to a later time of point in the pattern where we need it. So we are going to follow the pattern with the new color until we need to change the color up again and we are going to go through this or we're going to repeat this process throughout our first row. As soon as we've hit the last double crochet we are going to finish up our last double crochet with both of the yarns in order to chain up two again after this process, turn our work and start our second row of the bottom of the back. So this is how we are working on the bottom of the back. We close our last double crochets with both strings, chain up two in the desired color of the cell above. In our case, this is white. And then we chain up two with the white, turn our work and start crocheting double crochets with the desired color, which the pattern is telling us and we keep continuing the same process we did in the first row in the second row as well. As soon as we've hit the end of the second row, we continue the same process actually again. We the last double crochet is working as the same as the last double crochet of the first row. We finish up our last double crochets with both of the strings and then we chain up two in the desired color, which, is tell which the pattern is telling us. I think in this case it's green and then we turn our work and go all along the same process in row three, in row four, rows five and row six we are continuing the same process to in order to finish up the bottom of our back. So as soon as we finished the sixth row, which is defining the width and the length of our back, we are going to start actually with the body part. And this is a little bit confusing. So we are going to finish up the last double crochet as we did in the rows before with both of the strings. We chain up two. Since we are hitting the sixth row, we are going to read the pattern in a different direction actually. So we are going to read the pattern from the front um, pattern actually, from left to right. This is a little bit confusing. So what I can say, you are reading the pattern from left to right, beginning from the body part. And since we are not chaining up only the front part first and then add the side parts and then the, the back part, we are not going to do this, we are going to work around the bottom of the back by double crocheting the first row of each of the pieces. That means we are starting with the front piece. You look at the front piece pattern and you start the first row of the front piece pattern. And this is very, very important to, or in order to shape the back, we are going to do this first row of the front part. We're going to double crochet only in the front loop. That's the very, very important thing. In order to shape the back, we are going to do double crochets for the first row of the front part of the back only in the front loop. So we are yarning over, we pull the yarn, put the yarn through the front loop actually, we yarn over, pull the yarn through, we have three loops on the hook, we yarn over, pull the yarn through the first two loops, we yarn over, pull the yarn through the last remaining two loops 
and this is our double crochet for the first row of the front part. So we are continuing the pattern reading from left to right and then we are going to um, start crocheting around the back by crocheting the sides. So each of these double crochets we are attaching two double crochets. So since we have six rows we are going to add 12 stitches to each of the sides. So each double crochet contains two double crochet stitches of the side back. As soon as we've done the 12 double crochets, we are hitting the back of the back. We are reading the pattern from left to right. So as soon as we have done or have hit it, the last double crochet of the back part of our back, we are going to um, continue with the right side piece with the first row of course adding 12 stitches to the sides again following the pattern changing the color as soon as the pattern tells us and then when we've hit the last double crochet of the right side of the back this is very very important we connect the first double crochet with our last double crochet by si simply split stitching it we chain up two with the white yarn and continue the second row reading the pattern from left to right again and now we are double crocheting in both loops again so this is how actually how it works so we are working throughout the rows of each of the side pieces front pieces back pieces side pieces again and then we close the next row with the the last double crochet of the second row with the first double crochet of the second row by slip stitching it chaining up two and continuing with the third row actually and this is how this whole body process is working we are going to repeat this process for 16 rows in order to get the desired height of our bag as soon as you've made it through the body part you have done most of the work actually so um, now we are going to continue with the strap so we chain up two we follow the pattern by doing 10 double crochets into the right side part of piece of our back actually and this is how we are going to start our strap as soon as we've done the 10 double crochets we make sure to finish up our last double crochets with both of the strings again chain up two in the desired color that is telling the pattern is telling us and then we turn our work and start all over adding 10 more double crochets for our row two following the pattern changing the colors when the pattern is telling us and then we are going to end or close the last double crochet of row two with both strings again chain up two turn our work and do this or repeat this process for 16 rows again you can do 15 rows as well it doesn't matter you can stop at any kind of length of strap you want to have it i did 16 or 15 rows actually i think the pattern tells 16 i think on this bag i did 16 15 only no 30 i'm telling nonsense oh my god one two three four. you have to do 32 rows not 16 rows i'm telling nonsense actually so you continue this working this whole pattern from the strap by double crocheting 32 rows you have to take into consideration that if you put something into the bag the bag will stretch but this bag is actually perfect in size so as soon as you've done the last row of course we are going to attach the strap to the other end the left side of our bag uh, by simply slip stitching it and in order to have the little seam of the slip stitch inside the bag we are going to turn the or the strap inside out fixing it um, by putting the hook already through and start double or and start slip stitching these pieces together and after this we are going to chain up one and leave a long tail actually cut the thread and pull the yarn through and pull it tight in order to secure the whole thing and then we are going to only weave in the excess yarn of all the bags there must be some excess yarn in the at the bottom as well from the beginning um, as well and from introducing the, the second color of course 
and some excess yarn from the seam of your slip stitch um, where you attach the strap to the back and then you are ready actually to go and your back is actually done so it seems very very easy but it's very very yeah a hard process in reading you need to count a lot you need to count lots of stitches so be sure that you read the pattern the correct way and you should be fine in the end so now i'm going to show you a little montage of how this looks actually in detail and then we are ready to go like I'm so bad at filming these montages but yeah you get the hint of how the back is looking like and I don't care if it's so aesthetic or not so I, I mean the most important thing is that you get on how it's like falling while wearing it and how it looks like in different angles and I think that's the most important thing about montage and not making them aesthetic as fuck and stuff like that so Bessie I hope you like this tutorial I hope you do this back and I hope you send me your pics and on Instagram do it in your own version in your own colors in your favorite colors and stuff like that if you have any questions hit me up on social media on the comments I try to actually reply to all of you if it's possible oh i forgot actually if you like this video feel free to give it some thumbs up for more diys and crocheting tutorials in the future also make sure to subscribe to the channel i think it's free so you can do that and yeah if you're new here i hope you like it and make sure to check me out on my social media tagged along the screen and yeah i can't wait to be back in the next video I hope you are doing good, I hope you are having a good day, I hope you are having fun crocheting and make the best out of it and yeah, I can't wait to be back. I see you soon, I can't wait, bye bye, I'm out, ciao.